The following program is rated TV MA LSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Previously on 24. We have reason to believe. <laughs> Oops. Previously on Computer Science for Gangstas. Did our host get a fresh haircut? Better yet, did he get the hose? Find out in another episode of Computer Science for Gangstas. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry for that rude interruption. Had to go get a haircut. You know, just like the last example, I gotta stay fresh for the hoes, bro. You know, they want you to come with condom. I, I guess that does make sense. They want you to buy dinner. I guess it depends on how much the meal is. And, you know, they may need you to be fresh. So, you know, your boy had to stay fresh. Go get a haircut. You feel me? But yeah, yeah, back to what we're saying. So, yeah, let me give you another example of using an if statement, right? So, let's say you own a club. And, you know, AI is taking over everything right now. So maybe you have like an AI robot or whatever to be a bouncer or you have a bouncer app, right? Where people have to scan their IDs to get into the club. So a good example will be if when they scan their ID, the logic of the app may work this way where it'll, it'll say if age is greater or equal to 21, they can get in else they don't get it. Right. Very straightforward. Very simple. There may be exceptions, right? I don't know if they still do, you know, this college nights on Thursdays were fired, man, you know, but I haven't been to the club club man in so long now i heard the club scene is dead you know it's just people are just standing nobody's dancing just they're all in their section bottle service and all that bullshit i mean that's that's a story for a different time i got i got carried away okay back to what we're saying so yeah so let's say there's an exception thursday nights so we do something like this if days equal to thursday and age is greater or equal to 18 they can get in something like that right so that would be an exception I mean, you can have multiple else if here, different exceptions, basically. They're VIP, they're celebrity, I don't know, they can get in. Something like that, basically, right? So yeah, that's a very straightforward if and else statement. There are other conditional statements that you could possibly use, uh, something like switch. We'll talk about that later on. It's very simple too. But let's move on to declaration statements. So declaration statements. I am not referring to the Declaration of Independence. No, that is not what I'm saying. Declaration statements. When we talk about declaration statements. A very important term is variables. You've probably heard that term, variables. Pro you've probably heard it in high school, middle school, whatever. I guess some of y'all probably skipped classes or some bullshit like that. But nevertheless, I'm going to explain it. It's very simple. Variables are just labels or names. Just anything, you know, you want to label something as. That's a variable. So let's give an example here. So let's say you are a drug dealer. Okay, first of all, disclaimer. I am not a drug dealer. I have no idea yeah, what what goes on in that circle i'm just all i'm saying i'm go going to reference in this video is just public street knowledge and first of all you know free my boy jay money he, he did not deserve to do all that he was just a hard-working man basically you know so the feds i have no idea you know jay money was just my neighbor I, I had no idea what the heck he was doing but you know free my man man okay coming back to what we're saying so yes if you happen to be a drug dealer right and you know you have a website an app I don't know where you sell your product to your customer. I wouldn't know anything about that, but let's just say you did. So yes, and you know, using some certain variable names may make it easier for your customer to actually buy your product. So for an example, you know, on the streets, a key is what we refer to as like a kilo, right? You know, like a kilogram of cocaine, you know, or, or weed, whatever drug you're selling. So, but a key is normally a thousand, right? A dime is most likely 10. So something like that basically, right? So if you have on the website, if there's a drop down, you know, to pick the size. So you have an option for a kilo or a key, you have an option for a dime and so on, basically something like that, you know, very, very straightforward. So those are good variable names to just um, label something, right? And you can have, you know, more variable names with more options for an example, right? You know, when we talk about angel dust, we're referring to that good cocaina, you know, that cocaine, that white, you know? So the same thing as China white, you know, Colombia's finest. These are all good variable names if you're trying to name something after cocaine, basically, right? Same thing goes for weed. You know, you could have good variable.
wearable names for your weed. You could have something like Ganja, Mary Jane. You know, there's a good wearable names for weed, basically. I would not know anything about this. I'm just telling you what is public street knowledge, you know. But yes, that's all that is. So good verbal names are very important when you're declaring a verbal. Another very important thing about declaring verbals, you have to specify the type. Most programming languages, you have to specify the type. Why is that important? So let's say for an example, you have a variable called a kilo, right? Here's the problem with that, right? If you don't specify the type of kilo this is, we don't know if it's a kilo or this is a key. We don't know if this is a, a key of, of weed or a key of cocaine, you know? Shout out to my boy, or uh, rest in peace, you know, Little Tech Ramirez, you know, he got... <sighs> It's tough, man. You know, he got hit selling the wrong product or the wrong size to the wrong set of people. You know, I, I don't know anything about it. The feds, I, I, this is what the rumor on the streets. I don't know anything about it, but uh, come back to what I was saying. So yes, it's important to specify the type. You know, it's very, the same thing works with programming. You know, you got to specify the type of variable. You know, is this weed? Is this key for weed or is this key for cocaine? It's very important, basically. Right. You know, you don't want to end up like uh, Ramirez, you know, you know, low tech Ramirez, real, real, real G. But as I was saying, so yes, that's very important, right? And variable names are just, they're just very useful, right? Because as I just said, it could have different names that means different or the same product or something like that, basically. And, you know, just give you a scenario in case the feds happen to, I don't know, hack your website and get a transcript or whatever. And it says added 200 pounds of Mary Jane. You just be like, see, hey, man, I don't know what you talk about, man. You know, it's not my fault that I was just trying to warn Spider-Man that shit like Mary Jane done added 200 pounds. I mean, how the fuck is he going to swing her fat ass along New York skyline? I was like, God damn, I was concerned for my boy Peter Parker. Like, like, fuck like that's all that was so it's good to go with variable names very important you know if you could find better variable names to name your product i would advise you to do that you know i'm just telling you man you know shout out to my boy j money man <sighs> But, but come back to what I was saying. I have no idea. So yes, we just talked about types and variables. Another important part of uh, declaring a statement is the value, setting the value. Actually, this is not declaration statement. We're going over to initialization, right? So when you initialize a variable. So here's the difference. They're very similar. The difference between declaring and initializing is declaring, you only have to specify the type and the name of the variable. But once you initialize it, you have to set the value at the same time, right? So now for an example, as I said, we have something where we have, let's say we have a variable called Mary Jane key. We specify the type as weed. That's the type. The variable name is Mary Jane key. Then we're just declaring now we do equal to a thousand kilogram or I guess 2.2 .2 pounds of weed. That's our value basically. So now we set a value. This is initialization. Yes. Whenever you set the value the same time that you declare, you're initializing. You know, if you don't set the value at that time, you're just declaring. You're just saying, hey, this is the name and this is a type. As soon as you set the value, you have now initialized. Is that clear? That's very straightforward. That's very straightforward. Another important thing we need to cover when we're referring to declaring or even initialization is we use semicolon in programming to end a statement, basically, right? So every statement you write in most programming languages, you use a semicolon to end it, right? This is very important. Not all programming languages require you to end a statement with semicolon, like JavaScript. Some programming languages don't require it. It's not mandatory, but a lot of them do. And those that do, the reason why it's required is because it helps the computer know kind of like the sequence, right? It's so you want to run this line of code first. It'll run this line of code first or the statement first. It'll run the next statement next. So after the semicolon, it'll go to the next statement and run that piece of code, go to the next statement and it'll run that next statement of code. So that's how it is basically, right? As I said, not all programming languages require this. If it doesn't require the computer, the programming language, you know, the compiler is probably smart enough to know the sequence it should run it you know but yeah that's it that's all we have for statements and as i said statements there are different types of statements we cover declaration we cover conditional we covered initialization really statement is really any it's almost like any line of code or not even a line it's just any piece of code would be a statement technically but i just felt this three types of statements were important to cover okay i'll see you guys next time hopefully oh no no not hopefully i just, I gotta make 10 of these videos, man. God help me. Oh, I gotta, 
I lost that bet, man. I got to do what I got to do. Okay, see you guys next time.